And coming off two days of barnstorming through Iowa, Ron DeSantis today is in New Hampshire, and he got a little testy. The Florida governor snapped this morning when a reporter questioned his willingness to field voters' questions. Governor, how come you're not taking questions from voters? I'm not coming up to me, talk to me. What are you talking about? I'm not here working with people. Are you, are you blind? What? Are you blind? I'm not blind. Okay, so people are coming up to me, talking to me, whatever they want to talk to me about. NBC's Gabe Gutierrez is traveling with DeSantis. Um, I'm very used to hearing very tired candidates at the end of maybe months on the campaign trail. This is still the start of week one. But you just heard uh, from DeSantis. Uh, tell me a little bit about that and what this has been like so far for him in New Hampshire. Uh, hi there, Chris. Well, actually, to be fair to Governor DeSantis, he just wrapped up another event here in Rochester, New Hampshire. He did take numerous questions from voters that went up to the rope line, spent several minutes uh, signing autographs, and did uh, answer some of their questions. He also listened to some questions from reporters. I will tell you, Chris, he did not engage on the question that I threw at him uh, regarding the classified documents investigation into former President Trump and that new audio recording that a source says prosecutors had. He didn't answer Answer that one. But he did, Chris, uh, answer uh, when I asked him uh, to respond to former President Trump this morning, saying that he'd need only six months to fix the U.S., that coming again after Governor DeSantis said he'd need two terms to undo the damage done by Democrats. DeSantis fired back and he said, quote, why didn't he do it in four years? So certainly it's clear that now DeSantis is willing to establish that contrast with former President Trump, not doing it during his stump speech, but when asked directly by reporters, he is showing a willingness to do that.